Hi everybody and welcome to week seven. This week we'll be exploring concepts surrounding intellectual property, plagiarism, and citation practices used in academic research to credit information sources. These topics may sound dry to you and I understand why some students dread citing um, and citation formatting. <laughs> However, I've compiled a variety of resources for you to explore this week that go beyond the mechanics of simply properly citing sources and look at larger social, political, and philosophical issues involved with intellectual property and citation practices that show up in our westernized academic system. In looking at our week seven folder here, uh, you'll find a subfolder that contains two videos explaining what the practice of citing is and why it's done. I felt these videos would provide a useful foundation for us as we explore theories and practices surrounding citing information sources and why this plays such a large role in the research process. You also have an assessment activity to complete after watching these videos where you will explain what your main takeaways are. Going back to the main week seven folder, you will next find a series of readings, all of them brief, that you will want to complete and of course take notes on as a way to critically think about and engage with the readings. Your notes will help you draft a more insightful post also for this week's reading discussion assignment, which is explained in detail here. Finally, you will be choosing your own citation adventure, as exciting as that sounds. This activity is intended for you to practice and become more comfortable with citing sources, a skill, of course, that you will not only use in this class, but in future classes and possibly other instances where you present research findings. The choice here is deciding on what citation style you wish to learn more about, APA or MLA. There is no right choice here. There are also many other citation formats aside from these two, but these tend to be the most commonly assigned formats for college level research assignments. Depending on your major and academic path, one style might be more useful to you than another. If you aren't sure which one you'd like to pick, I'm happy to email or talk with you further, so just feel free to contact me. The last part of your citation adventure involves submitting three citations you formatted using the APA and MLA style. These citations should relate to the research topic you have chosen to explore this term. You will need to provide a citation for a book, article, and website related to your topic. The practice creating citations assignment here provides specific instructions, which you'll want to read carefully. You are encouraged to include citations of sources you've used in the book and article and internet exploration assignments from previous weeks this term. You are also welcome to cite any new sources you may have found on your topic since then. This assignment will definitely help to prepare you for our final project next week. I just don't want you to agonize over your citation. Simply do your best and know that I will be grading on effort, not perfection. The point is for you to become more comfortable creating citations. And with all the rules involved with properly citing sources, it really takes a long time and a lot of practice to become proficient. So please be patient with yourself. If you're feeling overwhelmed, feel free to email me for assistance. I'm very happy to help you through your citation formatting or answer any questions you may have. Just please be sure to email me by, you know, end of the day Friday if you can so that there's enough time for me to respond to you before the Sunday deadline. I just want to wish you a great week and please do keep in touch if any questions come up for you or you simply want to talk about how your research is going or how the class is going for you. Thanks so much.